Hey everybody, my name is Lowell and welcome to the channel. So we've got this one, top 10 most beautiful cities in the USA. So remember, these aren't my picks. These are these guys' picks. Now, if there's something different and you think there's one that's missing, let me know in the, in the comment section. So let's jump in. And let's have a look at these, shall we? All right, let's see what they've got for From us, shall we? From coast to coast, this amazing country is home to many breathtaking cities rich in history, culture, and natural beauty. In this video, we'll showcase some of the most beautiful cities in the U.S., highlighting their Palm unique Square? features Looks and attractions. Like so please sit back, relax, and let us tour the 10 most beautiful cities in the United States. Okay. Number 10. Oh, Houston. Houston, Texas. Okay. Cultural diversity, superb Tex-Mex food, and a bustling arts and entertainment scene have made this city famous. Okay. Houston, in the middle of Texas, is a cultural and historical treasure trove with many interesting places to visit. Seeing Houston's many museums, theaters, and zoos is a great way to get a feel for the city. Visiting Houston these well-known landmarks is a great okay. way to get acquainted with Houston's colorful past and contemporary culture. Houston is a beautiful city, but it's not just because of its museums and theaters, it's also famous for its Tex-Mex cuisine, where you can get authentic delicacies like fajitas and enchiladas. Houston also has a thriving arts and entertainment scene that should not be overlooked. Okay. The city is home to a number of world-class theaters, museums, and other cultural institutions. Are we gonna actually Houston see is a vast any, and exciting just... city with a manageable population of about 2.3 million people. Oh, wow, look, they got trains. Moreover, it is accessible from various important cities thanks to its central southwest oh, wow. location. Las Number Vegas. nine. Okay. Las Vegas, Nevada. I mean, Casinos, it looks beautiful at nighttime, doesn't it? And Lit up and everything. Nightlife wow. contribute to Sin City's reputation as a top tourist destination. Las Vegas, Nevada, a city in the state's desert, is renowned for its glitz and glitter and offers visitors various attractions. I mean, it does look beautiful. Vegas the, is best experienced by visiting one of its many world-famous casinos, such as the Bellagio or the Wynn. These world-famous destinations have world-class ah, dining and nightlife options and exciting casino activities. Very busy. In addition to its many glittering casinos, Las Vegas is also yeah, see, home to several five-star hotels, daytime, doesn't such it? as the Aria and the Palazzo. The luxurious accommodations at these hotels oh, provide guests right with the perfect the setting hotel. to unwind wow. while taking advantage of the oh, area's wow. best offerings. It's all kind Las of Vegas is a vast in, isn't it? and exciting city yeah. with a small town feel, despite its 640,000 residents. And wow, many major cities have many quick and simple Las access Vegas. due to its southwestern location. Wow. Number eight. San Diego. San I've Diego, heard of San Diego California. Zoo. San Diego okay. has a thriving arts and entertainment scene and is famous for its beaches and authentic Mexican food. San Diego, California, is a city on the Pacific coast known for its abundance of parks and other outdoor recreational areas. Pacific Beach and La Jolla Beach are just two of San Diego's fantastic beaches. I think I've heard of La You can Jolla sunbathe, Beach. swim, or take in the Pacific Ocean's breathtaking vistas from Looks these like gorgeous the Gold sand lengths. Where I'm from. The San Diego Museum of Art and the San Diego Zoo are just two of the city's cultural yeah. attractions that add to the city's overall beauty. I've heard of San Diego Zoo. Remember that San Diego is well known for its excellent Mexican food and several highly regarded Mexican restaurants. What's up with the Mexican food? San Diego food? is a large and exciting city with a population of about 1.4 million that is also oh, wow. very walkable. Okay. As an added bonus, its coastal location in California makes it accessible ah, from that. several large population wow. centers. Is that tiles on that building? Wow, that looks pretty. Number seven. Chicago. Okay. Chicago, Illinois. The city's skyline is breathtaking, and it's home to some of the best museums in the world and some of the best ah, deep dish big pizza city, in the world. Isn't it? Holy Chicago, wow. a city on the eastern shore of Lake Michigan, has a rich cultural and historical heritage light? and offers visitors various attractions. Uh, wow. Chicago's famous structures, such as the Willis Tower and the Cloud Gate Sculpture, are among the city's oh. top attractions. So is that, um, These Ferris famous Wheel landmarks there the whole time? are excellent locations to take in panoramic vistas of Chicago and learn about the city's fascinating past. 
Chicago is home to some of the world's best museums and cultural institutions, such as the Art Institute of Chicago and the Field Museum of Natural History, which add to the city's cool. already stunning skyline. It's not hard to wow. get around and see everything there is to see in Chicago, wow, despite the city's massive Holy population moly. of over 2.7 million people. Wow, 2.7. Its central Midwest position makes it accessible Holy for many moly. major metropolitan areas. That's how bad as many as live in my state. My state is almost three Number times the size of Texas. Seattle, Seattle. Washington. Okay. The beautiful mountain and waterscapes, burgeoning tech and startup scene, and excellent coffee have all made this city famous. Seattle, a city is on Puget really Sound, is known for its abundance of scenic parks and other outdoor attractions. Oh, another fair as well. Seeing Seattle's famous sites, like the Space Needle and Pike Place Market, oh. is a great opportunity to get a feel for the city. Sydney has something similar These must-see landmarks are excellent resources for learning about Seattle's fascinating past and providing hmm. beautiful city views. Seattle's ah, natural beauty out. is undeniable, but the city also has a vibrant innovation and startup culture. A lot of green to a number of there. industry leaders nice. and leading incubators. Is that and, a mountain of course, in the background? There's the coffee. Seattle is teeming with excellent cafes and roasteries, making it a must-see for any I know that's where, um, Starbucks. Around 740,000 people call Seattle home, making it a vast and bustling metropolis with plenty oh, like to see London and do. Eye. Okay. With its central West Coast location, it is accessible from several major metropolitan wow, areas. Look at the colors, the trees. New Orleans. Number five. Okay. New Orleans, Louisiana. The city's thriving music and art culture complement like the city's impressive New Orleans colonial for, uh, architecture and history music, of cultural significance. Sure. And the food. All New the food. Orleans, a metropolis on the Gulf Coast and the Mississippi River, is a cultural and historical treasure trove with numerous points of interest. The French Quarter is a must-see in New Orleans, with its historic homes, quaint shops, and excellent dining options. Mm. City Park and the New Orleans the Botanical Garden good. are just two of the city's numerous stunning parks wow, and okay. gardens. New Orleans Again, is a known lot of for green. its thriving like music and arts scene, with several clubs, festivals, and cultural events to appreciate the city's splendor outside the Central Business District. New Orleans is wow. a city that genuinely comes to life with music, whether it is mm. jazz, blues, or brass bands. One might listen to some blues. New Orleans that's for sure. is an exciting and welcoming city with a manageable LSU. population of roughly <laughs> 390,000. And thanks to its position on the Gulf Coast, it is accessible from various major metropolitan areas. All the palm trees as well. Wow. Wouldn't expect the palm trees. Number four. Oh, Boston. Boston, okay. Massachusetts. Okay. This city has a long and storied cultural heritage. It is renowned for its I'm beautiful it's colonial architecture city, and dynamic arts and culture scene. Boston, a coastal city on the Atlantic, is a historical and cultural yeah. treasure trove with many exciting oh, places to visit. Draw. What the hell is the freedom draw? Boston's historic area is excellent for exploring the city's culture and cuisine, with its picturesque colonial homes, quaint shops, and acclaimed eateries. Boston's various parks and gardens are lovely locations to unwind and take in the sights, particularly the common and the public garden. Okay. The city's cultural institutions, George Washington. such as the Boston Symphony Orchestra and the Institute of Contemporary Art, contribute significantly to the wow, city's overall attractiveness. Wow. Boston is a large, exciting like city that. with a manageable population of about 650,000. Oh, wow. Its okay. position on the East Coast makes it accessible for many it would have been major a little metropolitan bit more areas. Than Boston and 600,000. Number one? three, Charleston, Charleston, South Carolina. South Carolina, okay. This picturesque metropolis is well known for its fascinating past, stunning antebellum buildings, and delectable Southern fare. It's very. Charleston, South Low Carolina, compared to the is a rest, city on the Atlantic like coast a, with many historical and cultural a real attractions. Skyline. I like that. Walking through Charleston's historic district okay. is a great way to get a feel for the city. The district has antebellum mansions, quaint mm -hmm. shops, and excellent eateries. Enjoy the views and sounds of nature in one of the city's numerous parks or gardens, such as the lovely Waterfront Park or the historic Magnolia Plantation and Gardens. Mm. Charleston's charm, however, oh, wow. is not confined to its historic district. The city is also well known for its delectable southern cuisine, with numerous highly rated restaurants dishing up favorites like shrimp and grits and fried green tomatoes. Ew. 
population-wise, Charleston is relatively modest, with roughly 150,000 people, making oh, wow, it a manageable that's... size for tourists. Yeah, that's its a position on the east population. coast makes it accessible for many major metropolitan areas. Okay, kind of seems laid back. Obviously, New York. Number two, New York City, New York. Skyscrapers, prominent sites, and a rich cultural landscape have recognized this metropolis worldwide. New York Metropolis, located on the East Coast, has a rich history and culture. There are many exciting landmarks mm. and attractions to visit mm. there. I've been to New York for three days. See the Statue of Liberty and Central Park it as rained, part of a memorable New York City vacation. Three days. Didn't get to see nothing. These famous landmarks are excellent spots to take in panoramic vistas of New York and learn about the city's long the and fascinating past. Didn't see nothing. The city's museums and cultural institutions, such as the Metropolitan wow, Museum busy. of Art and Modern Art, add to New York's appeal and prestige. In addition, New York City has a thriving cultural scene wow, thanks to the city's many ethnic enclaves that preserve their own traditions and customs. It's New probably York the most recognizable city in the world, I would say, New with York. a population of about 8.8 .8 million people. Wow, that's its position that's on the East Coast people. makes it accessible for many that's major metropolitan areas. That's almost half of what Australia areas. has in population. That's crazy. 8 million. Number 1. Los, Los Angeles. Angeles, California. Okay. Famed for its stunning beaches, iconic landmarks, and dynamic film and television industry. Los Angeles, California, is a beautiful city with many parks and other outdoor areas to enjoy its Pacific Coast location. Okay. The Hollywood Walk of Fame and the Griffith Observatory are just two of Los Angeles' like many must-see attractions. Up by the beach, These so. well-known landmarks are excellent Man, locations so to take in close. panoramic vistas of Los Angeles and learn about the city's fascinating past. Besides its famous monuments, Los Angeles is also known for its stunning beaches, such as Venice Beach and if you Santa Monica GTA Beach. 5, you know that beach it would be sure. remiss of us to overlook that Los <laughs> Angeles is also home to several of the world's most prestigious film studios and production businesses, making it an absolute must-see for any cinephile. Los Angeles is a vast and exciting metropolis with a population of about 4 million people that is also quite walkable oh, and convenient okay. to get around. I thought its it was a little bit more than that, in California but... makes it accessible from a number of population centers. Wow. Okay. So, I don't think there was, apart from Charleston, um, I don't think there were too many surprises on that list. Uh, pretty standard list, I would say. Um, I did, I did like Charleston. It's kind of got more of a, uh, a laid-back feel, I think, instead of the, the big sky rises and the big, you know, skyline. Um, New Orleans, I would definitely love to go to, obviously, for their food and their blues. Um, but some of them, you know, obviously, Chicago looked great down by the waterfront. Um, yeah, some beautiful-looking cities uh, in America. And, and that's only 10, many, many more than that. So... Uh, that was good, but as I said, I guess a pretty standard list. I, I either thought it was going to be New York or LA, number one. Um, but I guess it just depends what you look for in the city, what you consider beautiful, you know, green spaces, whatever else, facilities and whatever. Um, but like I said, not many surprises in that one. Um for me so i, I kind of like the more laid back style though because where i live in now brisbane capital of queensland capital city but it's very laid back as well too so i kind of like that that um pace of life as well too so if i had the choice i'd probably probably new orleans or charleston i would say to uh to live in uh new york way too busy eight million people nah way too busy uh and then obviously you know, you hear about the traffic in uh, LA all the time. So couldn't do that traffic either. So I think the more laid back style would be my my destination for sure. So as I said, if you think another city is more beautiful, let me know in the chat. I'd definitely love to hear it. So guys, thank you very much for joining us today. Make sure you stay safe and I'll definitely see you in the next reaction video. Did you enjoy that video? Why not watch another one?